What's new in turbo technology? Something you might have seen or might have heard, or you might not. Today, you're going to learn something. Hey everybody, welcome back. There's a really short video for you. Just want to go over some of the new technology it's been around for a few years, but I'd like to uh, just bring this to you guys, your guys' attention, introduce it to our YouTube channel. There's a number of things that I think you guys would not have seen before or are not aware of that is incorporated into some of the turbocharger technology. So the first thing I want to talk about is exhaust gas temperatures. So you have Euro 4, Euro 5, Euro 6 specification engines which relate to emissions and obviously exhaust gas temperatures. You find that the later Euro 5, Euro 6 um, emission controls will always be associated with EGTs around the 7, 8, 9 and 1050 degree ranges depending on if you're in a diesel or a gasoline petrol driven engine. Now I'm going to show you a turbocharger today that is a gasoline driven uh, turbocharger and it is a Euro 5, Euro 6 specification so you can expect to see exhaust gas temperatures of around 850, 900 degrees plus and the materials used on the manufacture of this specific turbocharger you will not believe so the first thing i want to show you guys is the brand of this turbocharger for those of you that don't know it's going to come as a surprise continental now continental is the same company that manufacture tires yes they manufacture turbochargers they don't have a massive range yet but they are as innovative as innovative gets. Have a look at this manifold design. This is a cast manifold with turbine housing as one piece, something that you've seen before in the VW range of applications on the 1.9 TDIs. The specific turbocharger is a three-cylinder manifold or a three-cylinder engine power plant. It uses an electronically controlled actuator, linear actuator, it's got a bullet compressor, it's counter rotation, and take a careful look at the fixing points and the fixtures that hold the compressor housing onto the bearing housing and the bearing housing into the turbine housing. Well, where are they? How do you disassemble this turbocharger? How's this for innovation? Besides the elephants in the room, let's talk about this first. This is really, really, really clever. I've got to take my hat off to Continental. When they build these turbochargers, they build them in one axis. This turbocharger never ever gets turned around to work on and turned back again to work on a different direction or a different side of the turbocharger. Everything gets assembled facing upwards, one direction. The compressor faces upwards, something like that, and that is exactly how it stays for the entire build process. On the front, you will see four fixing bolts, which basically from the top loosen the fixture at the back, which removes the compressor housing. Once that's done, the back plate is revealed and there will be a further four bolts, which you can't see now, on the same side, which will then screw right through the bearing housing into the turbine housing, holding it together. That is fantastic shortens the manufacturing time, fixtures and tooling are reduced, saves costs, brilliant. Now let's get to the elephants in the room. First of all, look how light this turbocharger is. It is, <laughs> it probably weighs three kilograms. It's not heavy at all. And the reason is because of the material they've chosen to cast the manifold and turbine housing. But now how's this possible? because we've just spoken about exhaust gas temperatures. Aluminium melts in the 600 degree range Celsius. The EGTs in this specific engine are well higher than the melting point of the material used to cast the manifold and turbine housing. Well, that's because of another great innovation. This turbocharger is water-cooled. The manifold and turbine housing is water-cooled. There you can see Welsh plugs more Welsh plugs. So that's obviously there for two reasons. 
part of the casting process, but at the same time, obviously, to seal so that there's no water leakage. This entire section is water cooled. Absolutely fantastic. This is an absolutely awesome design. Hats off to Continental. Wow. All right, guys. So, where do you find these turbochargers? This specific unit comes off the 1.5 litre three cylinder BMW power plant, but you'll also find them on a lot of the one litre EcoBoost engines. Um, also three cylinder, slightly smaller rotating assembly, same design, water cooled manifold and turbine housing assembly. Absolutely spectacular. Well done, Continental. Hope you guys have learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Like, subscribe, put some comments down below. Catch you next time.